Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Smash Brothers Ultimate, and The Outer Worlds. These are just some of the contenders that are up for Game of the Year uh, for 2019. We haven't done one of these in like a year, um, and I think we've, we're all more comfortable around each other, certainly enough to like talk over each other, <laughs> and and certainly enough to not be as professional as we once were, because like, editing the last episode, I was just like, man, we're all like really scared of talking over one another, and, and we're all Don't like really uh, you, proper and... Be yeah, rude. Exactly. I was mostly just scared of Nico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna beat me up. And, and, and like Nico didn't like he only talked like twice. <laughs> <laughs> Nico has Nico gaming time powers. You gotta watch out for that guy. He has yeah, epic true. Nico gaming time powers. <laughs> All right, so so uh, we, we got together. Uh, t- this is the day that we uploaded the second episode of of the Minus Cast. Um, we, because we were all just too busy to. Well, I was, because because I, I was the one that said like I'm gonna I'm gonna edit these no problem, and I just got too busy to edit them. But I was like, you know what? I we we want to do this again. Let me sit my ass down. I'll 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 edit it. And now here we are. We want to keep doing it more and more. Um, and we're like a week away from the game of the game the game awards. I was gonna call them the game of the year awards, but for 2019 and. Here we have some of the contenders. We're all looking at the same list. Mm-hmm. And what 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 do you guys think of of the contenders we have for this year? Where's Goose Game? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Um, Honestly, I, I, think, I think Goose Game should be a contender. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it. It's it's. I don't think it's that big, but it's probably big enough to outweigh some of these like does anybody actually know what control is yeah i've never heard of control i've heard of it i've only played two of these (laughs) games so i can't speak on for most of them but okay i've i've played all but two of them i haven't played resident evil 2 but i'm aware of it and i saw the trailer for control once so it was vaguely familiar um so i remember what it is but yeah i I was like whoa i can't wait for the game to come out in like 2022 it's like oh no that came out in august (laughs) um because you said you saw it at e3 right yeah yeah uh because it was like i didn't realize it was a coming soon kind of thing because it just looked like it's uh, like quantum break you know that game that came out only on uh, windows 10 that's what this like looks like it looks like quantum break i i mean don't quote me on this but i think it's the same people question mark i don't know i'm not gonna fact check that I'm not gonna uh, fact check that. Who'd everyone vote for? I have to sign into. I, oh, I didn't vote. vote. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, if I had to voted. choose right now, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I had to choose right now, like in terms of games that I think permeated throughout the whole year, dominated the conversation. I think Smash Ultimate is the only choice, yeah. really. Yeah. Like I pl- agree. Um, yeah. Because oh, I was gonna say I yeah. played Outer Worlds, which is a fantastic game. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, oh I yeah, think Smash just like it's still iconic, and it just it's. It, it's, it is what it is. Like, you can't print, you, I don't think you can compete with Smash just on that level of how much there is to that game. Yeah. What is Outer Worlds? So, it's like Fallout, but better than last Fallout. Oh. Yeah. It's made by the Fallout, guys that made Fallout, the very Fallout, first Fallout, Fallout game, right? Uh, and, um, uh, oh, Obsidian. and, uh, yeah, New Vegas. So. Yeah. So, oh, the Outer oh. Worlds is really good. And it's also, um, rather than open world, it's, there's various like settlements slash uh, like locations and different plans you can go to. So they're individual, almost like sandboxes or, or I guess more like playgrounds, how you can like interact with different NPCs, do various uh, stuff. It's really cool, but I think it's, it's way less impactful than being on a game of the year list sort of needs. Resident Evil sure. 2 even like, I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but just like really game of the year. Like, yeah, that, 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 that's what I was thinking too. Because well, this year's yeah. been weird because there really hasn't been that many big games be, just because the new consoles are coming next year. Yeah. Like the only yeah. games I feel like actually deserve to be game of the year is Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and I guess Death Stranding. I would say that yeah. one's super but it, it just weird. came out. That's the thing. Yeah, true. Like, well, um, that one's that one is such a weird one because yeah. Jeff Keighley's in this game. So if it wins, <laughs> people are gonna be like, "Oh rigged. my god, Jeff Keighley rigged. made it win." Rigged. Um, yeah, rigged. Yeah. Everyone's gonna say rigged. Everyone's yeah. gonna re. Uh, I mean, honestly, even though Smash Bros. Ultimate technically came out uh, last year, it wasn't on the game. Well, it came out the the day of the Game Awards last year, so it couldn't be on. 
on the uh, yeah. right. uh the nom- n- nomination. That's what I was so thinking. I, I feel like it, it like honestly, yeah, like this game deserves to win. Not even because we have a Nintendo bias, but just the fact there's like eighty thousand characters, one hundred exactly. million stages. <laughs> Um, they're you still imagine. adding stuff to the game. There, there's going to be more <laughs> DLC after the the already large amount of DLC we've gotten. Yeah. It de- it deserves it. They describe the game of the year as recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. I think, sure, yeah, that is a That's fair Smash description. That's Smash Bros. Ultimate. But, but also, I think game of the year should also go to a game that, like I described, um, like it permeates throughout the year. It, it's th- like right. through the collective consciousness, like... I love uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, but it's just another kind of Dark Souls game. While great, it's not like it yeah. blew up and took over the conversation. Resident Evil 2 is a remake. Even if it's great, it's a remake. It it, it kind of did, like, it, but that was more so last year because it came out in January. Yeah. And, and like, I, uh, what D-Pad said, like, I, I, I kind of want to jump off that because mm-hmm. I felt the same way when I... When I uh, cause I, cause I checked the game of the year awards nominees like last night or two nights ago. Um, cause I'm, I'm, <laughs> I really wanted to know if like there was anything confirmed for like the fifth smash character for that day, okay. but I guess it's going to be a surprise or not. So like, I looked at the nominees and I'm like resident evil too. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I love that game, but I, I'm not entirely sure if it's like game of the year worthy, <laughs> you know? I mean, um, and, yeah. And death stranding, like, yeah, it was a conversation topic, but it just came out, so I feel like it's too soon to tell. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I've so I've played a little bit of Death Stranding, and I can say, from what everything I've understood of it, I don't even think it's going to be Game of the Year for 2020. Not because it's bad, but just because I mm-hmm. think it's so obtuse. It's extremely long. The story's weird as hell, and it's just weird. Uh, so I don't think it's like right. just it looks weird. Yeah, but. It's a good weird, dude. Like, like visually, <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm glad Kojima was allowed to make, um, you know, uh, Die Hard Man is one wants. of the characters. <laughs> like, die, die Hard Man. Yeah, Die Hard Man. <laughs> um, there's some fantastic names. He, he only drinks uh, uh, Monster Energy as, uh, like, Hell yeah, dude. he has a canteen and, for That's water and then Monster Wait, Energy. Kojima? <laughs> yeah, legit. No joke. Oh my god! Yeah, that's awesome. You have to control how much urine you have because uh, otherwise you can get like uh, what? Yeah, <laughs> there's so many random. Ass I need to get this game mechanic. immediately. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Um, you have to like make sure not to like get off balance while you're holding a bunch of stuff because you're cosplaying Uber, like delivering stuff back and forth. It's so <laughs> weird. I would recommend <laughs> playing it. I mean, all of these games I would actually probably recommend, even though I haven't played Control. It looks really cool, and because of this list, I'll probably pick it up. Um, right. But Shadows yeah. Die Twice is a fantastic too, game. Like, man. Smash Bros. is pretty good. Outer Worlds is pretty good. Um, so I think these are all good games, but I think Smash is really the only one that stands out to me as being yeah. like, like worthy of that title. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it's the one that you can like still play today and be like, okay, <laughs> that, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, of those, it's like you, wait, you haven't heard of smash ultimate. Like, I think that's the only one that yeah. really <laughs> applies. Yeah. These other ones, I can totally understand if you haven't heard of them. Yeah. But let's put it this way. Yeah. Like in three, four years, most people will still be playing smash ultimate more than pretty much any of these other games. Yeah, that's true too. Yep. So we we have um, different categories as well, not just game of the year. That's just like the the main one that everyone's thinking about, and it's like, okay, well, what, who who wins the 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 big big candy? But we also have uh, action games. Astral Chain, I forgot was on this list. Yeah, <laughs> if I could just well, make a little well, parenthetical. <laughs> I was gonna say, why don't while we're going through this, why don't you read off like all of the uh, read, read off all the games just in case yeah, okay. anyone doesn't know. Okay, so for action games, I. Th- I don't know if there are more because there's a little arrow here. Okay, that's it. We have Apex Legends from Respawn and EA, uh, Astral Chain from Platinum Games, which is on the Switch, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which if I understand, you guys, Nathan and Tetra know more than I do. Is that a remake well, or Petra's is that? Well, played it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I played it a lot. Uh, it is a reboot. It is not a remake. A reboot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Devil May Cry 5 from Capcom, uh, Gears 5 from The Coalition and Xbox, and Metro Exodus from 4A Games, which I believe is on Xbox and PS4? And PC. PC? I yes. think it's okay. only Epic Store okay. for PC, is that right? Uh, Pretty sure. Um, it, I think it started that way. I'm not sure if they've expanded it. Because I know it's with the Game Pass. I just don't know if you can buy it with, um, I'll, with I'm the gonna PC check, version. Honestly, yet. I think that's an important point. I'm going to check. Sure. 
Um, what What do you guys uh, look for in it? Because I because I think that what our preferences definitely um, are leaned more toward what we look for in games. So like w when it comes to an action game, what do you guys look for most? Because these are all pretty different, I'd say. Except I, probably I was going to say they're very different. <laughs> like, um, well, not even like I mean, because Apex Legends that's purely multiplayer, pretty much. Astral Chain, pretty much just single player. Call of Duty is a mix of both, mm. which is really good. Um, so like it really depends, like what you're like if you're looking for like a story based game or like a multiplayer game. So it's kind of apples sure. and oranges with some of these. A Symmetric yeah. Exodus. It wasn't what I said. So it is uh, exclusive to the Epic Store. But okay. the reason why I remember why it was important is because there was controversy. It was released on February 14th, uh, Valentine's Day. Um, nice. And uh, it was actually available on Steam. But then they had to put oh, up a note yeah. that sales of Metro Exodus have been discontinued oh, yeah, on Steam right. due to oh, a publisher decision to make the game exclusive to another PC store. So it was available and then they took it off, which is why it Stimmy. was a lot of... Uh, a lot of angry uh, comments that came up yeah. around that. Well, it's like Shenmue 3. Oh, dude, don't like, even. <laughs> that's been a mess. Like, yeah, that's oh, rough. Yeah, I mean, Just I'm not even kidding. familiar with the franchise. I know that's a shit show. Like, oh. Yeah. Well, I'd probably say out of like all these games, I feel like what has the best chance is either COD or Astral Chain. Because those are both, like, out of all these, I feel like they're the most action-oriented these games. Devil May Cry might be up there, too. Or Devil May I Cry. I never played it. Yeah, so that that I've heard really good, good, I've heard really good things yeah. of it. I heard Gears 5 so. was lukewarm. Um, yeah. I know Apex Legends yeah. started really good. Like, it was popping. Then it really dropped off really, really fast. Well, I will say, for Apex, I don't think it dropped necessarily because of, like, bad gameplay or anything. But just, like, yeah. it was a lot of hype that fell off. I actually yeah. would say that Apex is should still be definitely in the running in terms of sure. consideration. I'm not sure about Gears 5 and Exodus because I didn't actually play them. But I think, I think with this one, I, th there's more... Um, reasonable uh arguments be made for all of them compared to game of the year right yeah. apex was was a hugely streamed game too right yeah it yeah paid like ninja for like a couple billion months, dollars yeah. to stream it for like a week or something oh yeah well that's they paid right. a bunch of people actually like, yeah i think it was paid a i think, I think it, was it was a like million a million it was actually for million. like 12 days good lord <laughs> jesus <Christ. laughs> which is crazy imagine making a million dollars in 12 days just like, for one God. game can you imagine making a million <laughs> for one in general full stop like jesus dude yeah like I I love I would love to know like EA or respawns like um the meeting that was like okay so in our budget we have this much for the graphics department this much for the animators this much for the voice actors and then we have to set this aside a for million Ninja. for Ninja <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah that's like a whole other other discussion because like you don't get like organic growth for the fan base you have, they kind of just watch it mm -hmm. just be or play it just because right. uh these big streamers are playing it but then after they stop and like obviously we saw the game kind of dropped off. So, like, I guess they can... Yeah. I mean, I, I've mm -hmm. still vaguely kept up with, like, seeing their new stuff. And, like, at this point, they have two maps, which is weird. Um, and I think they are they either released or are releasing solos mm -hmm. uh, eventually as, like, a full-time thing. Because uh, they said they were never going to do that, but they did. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool game. Yeah. Uh, I like it in general. But, I mean, personally, I always stop caring about, like, these big multiplayer games yeah. before mm -hmm. too long. Yeah, it's really hard for me to keep up with those yeah. And I think it's hard for a lot of people to keep up with them because, like, once Apex died down, everyone went back to Fortnite. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like kinda these games. Too. Well, I mean, like, when the, at the time when this game came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it always seems like these, uh, these big multiplayer games, uh, or the free multiplayer games, I guess, they're only like two of them can be, like, relevant at a time because that's all people can really keep up with. So, yeah. I mean, it's impressive that Apex Legends did kind of have, like, a. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like they had a, a lead on Fortnite for a little bit, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, there's something sort of about multiplayer games, but also then specifically like the battle royale, uh, because yeah, I think, battle royale. I couldn't think of the word. Well, yeah. Well, because like when I think like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, even if it falls off, I mean people are really the. I haven't played it myself, and Tedra can tell me if I'm accurate here, but I, I think it's been, they've been pretty divided because there's been like issues with like, say skill based matchmaking, uh, yeah. various bugs, stuff like that. Like a lot of anger from the community. Yeah. I, I mean, pretty much the same you'd see in any like major, major release. Yeah. people. Yeah. I mean, they haven't really proven that skill based, skill based matchmaking exists or doesn't exist. There's a few people that did tests okay. and stuff, but I mean like, yeah, people have found stuff to complain about, but that said, like Infinity Ward has been pretty good at kind of listening to the community and fixing stuff on the fly. Um, so they're getting there. I mean, the community is still kind of divided. They've kind yeah. of 
made made gameplay a little bit more skill based than previous Call of Duties, where everything was like a three lane map. It was super yeah. easy to just get like kills. It was almost just an arcade shooter at that point. Mm-hmm. But now that they made that change, people are like, they're like, well, maybe we didn't really want this. Like, I don't, I'm not getting forty <laughs> kills a game anymore, kind of thing. Yeah. So people don't. I don't think. I think people don't really know what they want for the most part. But like I said, they're kind of listening to the to the van, so they're kind of trying to fix as much as they can. Yeah. From what I've seen, um, yeah, I have no idea about Astral Chain. Like, I've seen gameplay of it. I still don't. I was gonna it. ask, like, it's, it's I know how many people really like played it. it. Yeah, Drew played would be it. the guy to ask. Yeah. yeah, Drew played it a lot. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so you've played it too? Okay. Yeah, because I, I, it it was when was this announced? Was this announced at E3? I'm trying to remember, or was I, it? I believe uh, it, was, no, yes. it was a while ago. It was. Well, it was announced uh, at a E3. I don't know if it was. At E3. I'm pretty sure it was this E3. Uh, yeah, oh, no, it might have been earlier in the year. I can't remember. Uh, I think it was either, either way, I, remember, I think I remember seeing like oh, like anime police future. Yeah. Game <laughs> like a while ago. I think it was before. That's E3. right. It might have been like a January direct yeah. or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was definitely in a direct. But it was definitely this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it was in a direct. I just remember seeing it. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is this looks really cool. This looks really interesting. And then I just saw Platinum Games, like the people who make Bayonetta and like other beat-em-ups. I'm like, oh, I'm sold. You're like, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting this immediately. And uh, like I got it near release. I, I don't think I got it on the day of release. I got it near release. And... Something else that it has that I that made me love it even more is it's really customizable. Like you can customize your characters a lot, like their skin color, their hair color, their hairstyles, um, and it, I mean that it it doesn't make a huge influence, but like the characters you meet are, are interesting. Uh, the combat's really weird for what it is because like you would expect mm-hmm. in a beat 'em up or like in a in a hack and slash to be able to jump, <laughs> and you can't in this game. Oh, so yeah. like it thro- it throws oh, you wow. off. It throws you off a lot. Um, there's there's there are like three different kinds of weapons so far. I I, I haven't beaten it because like the Resident Evil marathon came around and like I didn't I just dropped it completely and I haven't played it since. Um, but like you have guns, you have axes, you have swords. So there's like a bunch of different things and and you're like a rookie police officer and it, it's it's really really fun and and for me personally like this is the kind of game I want to see more of where it's just like single player. You don't really need the internet to play it. Um, it's just fun for yourself. Like um, I don't know. Um, yeah, and and like we were saying, like it's just it's a completely different beast from like Apex, which is strictly multiplayer, or COD, which is a mix of both. Just because it is a big, I'm probably gonna vote for Modern Warfare because it does have campaign, it does have multiplayer, so you do get a little bit of both. Like if you're mm-hmm. if you're more into one or the other, like I played through the campaign of Modern Warfare. Well, it's not as good as like the original Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare Two. Um, it was a lot more like I guess there was a lot more to it than the previous couple of years of Call of Duty, so I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, multiplayer is it's it's pretty good like they they went really like in depth with like sound design and the graphics right. they, i think they're using a new engine for this game from previous call of duty so you can definitely see like a step up in terms of graphical fidelity so it's a lot more than just like call of duty whatever 16 at this point it kind of did mm-hmm. uh <laughs> iterate it a little bit more than usual which is which yeah is you, a you good described thing. it as a reboot um and, and yeah. from what i've seen it looks accurate and i i think it happens with every call of duty but like this one especially like it made me want to get it because it looks so enticing. And I saw like it was great. I saw a video of like these guys trash talking uh, in like a two v two match, and it was just like, oh, oh yeah. my god! Because like the fast action, <laughs> the uh, like the, their tactical, they were on like this, looked like almost like a paintball uh, map in terms of yeah. like how closed off it was. And uh, I'm I sure. Know what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the point is, is like. Okay, I, I could, I could, I could vibe, I could vibe with this. Um, I probably <laughs> die a lot because it's been so long since I've like really been into FPS games. But yeah. um, in terms of what I would vote for, I don't know. Um, I think I think there's there's merits to all these. Uh, all I want to say is Astral Chain looks like uh, JoJo, but with separation anxiety, <laughs> and I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, didn't didn't modern warfare have like a, a battle royale system of its own too like, uh, was the uh, previous one yet. that was black ops 4 oh yeah. the previous there, one. i think not they're planning yet. wait they're really planning, they're planning to add a battle like it hasn't been confirmed yet but there has been leaks that people have like seen the map and like apparently it's gonna have 200 players is what i've heard which Good is Lord. nuts oh, for battle royale. I, yeah i think i heard about this i wouldn't be surprised though it makes sense i, I though I, I played the black ops one and, and it got boring real fast really? I, that um, was my favorite battle royale still is i, I love blackout yeah, it's not um, bad. I just, I just like, like I mentioned before, I get bored of the battle royales. Yeah, quick that's now. fair. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, they're planning to add a battle royale apparently. Okay, that's cool. DMC Five, I've heard like great things about. I don't really know. Probably yeah, good. the other three games, I don't really know anything about, but I'm sure they're. Good I heard Gears Five. Games. I heard Gears Five was kind of lukewarm. Like 
it was good, but like I just saw the one video from what's like what's that channel Kroby Cat or whatever. They did compares it to like previous oh, yeah. Gears games and how much more depth those games had, just like with graphics and like interactions with NPCs, and like it's just apparently the new one just wasn't as like didn't have all a bunch of like the small things I guess that hmm. just make a game pop that much more. Yeah. But again, I haven't played it, so I can't huh. speak too much about it. All, all I know is that Devil May Cry Five will never be as good as DMC Devil May Cry. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> was like two thousand and like <laughs> nine remake or whatever, right? Yeah, it's 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 a meme. I just really like that one because it's so <laughs> garbage. I, I've heard I like okay. I've only played the first one and I hated it, and I have to play the other <laughs> ones. But like I, I've heard that DMC is like the one people hate. <laughs> so it's like it's like Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> i don't know figure it out like I, I, I can't get into it to be honest but it's, some it's like it some it's like it's weird don't. on beast we it's like right, a, it's okay. a weird uh thing we don't talk to it's like a relative that just like sits at a different <laughs> table okay we should move on this is this is tier two out of like 40 yeah, different right. categories okay, true, yeah. like well half, let's like keep in mind hour. we're gonna sk- we're gonna skip like half of them because oh, half of them is just like esports crap. Well, oh, yeah, also yeah. some of them are. There's a number no, of. I've, oh my god! Not, not to mention no there are a lot of repeats coaches. too. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of repeats. Yeah, the next well, one's literally yeah, let's action, go on to adventure. action adventure. <laughs> so basically the same talk. thing, but a couple new games. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and read them off. So for action adventure game, we have Borderlands Three, Control again, Death Stranding again, Resident Evil Two again, uh, Link's Awakening, and Sekiro again. Uh, See, I've only played Link's Awakening out of all of these. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've so can I just like... And I don't think it's deserving of a Game of the Year award. Yeah, I want to put in a yeah, vote real quick. Either. Can we just uh, get rid of Control? Because, like, who the hell knows about it? <laughs> but <laughs> we also... We don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, well, we, no, we, I want to say get rid of Control and get rid of Link's Awakening. Because it's... Yeah, I don't think it deserves... It's a good game. I like the it, game, yeah. but I don't think it's Game of the Year worthy for sure. It's not Game of the Year worthy. I mean, especially no. when it's an action adventure, it's so short. Like, they stuck to the original... Like, it's a, it's, it's a remake. Is it rematch or remake? Kind of yes. a remake? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Either way, the point is, it's super <laughs> short. It, it, it suffers from a lot of the issues that the first one had in terms of, like, game design. And, like, the ending is pretty lackluster and, like... You can beat it in like. And there's that weird frame rate issue as well. Yeah, it does have some great stuff to it. Fantastic music. It's really visually great. It gave me a chance to actually play through the game uh, fully, um, and it has some fantastic glitches just in general because the, the game's <laughs> engine is crazy. I'm I'm just saying, like honestly. Um, but when it comes to action adventure game, like no. But then also Death Stranding. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes it has what's, traversal what's, what's funny I, th- I think about that is that not only do we have two remakes here <laughs> with yeah, Evil 2 and oh, yeah like, good point but, oh yeah but, yeah. but with death stranding is more of an adventure game and i feel like secure is more of an action game so it's like that that's it's so weird to like i, I never thought yeah. about them as like oh yeah i guess they are separate things huh <laughs> yeah well because it, it even says combining combat with traversal and like i don't know about that <laughs> it's more uh, traversal <laughs> yeah I mean, I mean, well, what would you yeah. guys pick out of this? Out of these, uh, I don't know. Man, I don't I'd know. probably pick Borderlands Three. I, I was gonna say it, just, beca- just like, because I played it at E3. That's the only one I have experience with mm-hmm. that isn't Link's Awakening. So I'd probably pick Borderlands Three. Maybe? It seems like the most adventurey game out of all of these. Yeah, I, I, and I mean that that was a pretty good game too. So I would probably actually vote for Sekiro because I I played through almost all of it. I I still have my save file on like the uh, the the final boss because I. Got the true boss, but I'm too, too chicken shit. I don't to want to fight like, him. <laughs> I don't want to fight. He's so hard. Um, but the point is, uh, when, it, when like action adventure combining combat, traversal, puzzle solving. Honestly, like, I mean, it doesn't technically have puzzles because it's like a Dark Souls, but like, it's it's a nice twist on the formula, and like, mm-hmm. it has a really good story in terms of like, uh, the ideas they put forth, because uh, it's like a Dark Souls, so like. All of its story is really obtuse, but just in yeah. general, it's, it's I think it's a really good experience. And I haven't played Borderlands Three, so Borderlands Three might be better. And still, even though I keep crapping on it, I'm gonna probably play Control eventually, and it might be great. But <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's so hard to tell because this is like I know almost nothing about it. But yeah. I heard good things for Borderlands? Question mark. Yeah, I've same. Like I I really don't have an opinion because I've only played RE2, and again, I I love the game. I just don't think it's like maybe it's deserving of awards but i i, I don't know if i'd call it the best because I, I really just i just don't know yeah. <laughs> like yeah we have art, yeah, so direction, art direction presented, presented by, presented samsung, by samsung, samsung q led 
So the uh, nominations are big surprise, guys. Control, uh, another big one here. Death Stranding. Oh, I know, crazy. Uh, then there's Gris, uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts, uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and Link's Awakening. Again, I've only played <laughs> Die Link's Twice. More I haven't like even heard of Sayonara twice. Wild Hearts. I haven't even heard of Sayonara Wild Hearts. Yeah, no. I, feel, I feel so well, disconnected. This is just art direction. Yeah. I mean, it's not really gameplay. Like, I feel like art direction, I, I voted for Link's Awakening. Yeah. Just because okay. that is a really awesome. I like it. Like, visually, it it's cute, very yeah. A lot of people nice. don't like it. I thought, yeah. it was, I thought it was great. I love it. I actually, yeah, I, I, yeah it is kind of weird how some people didn't like it, but I love it. I think it's perfect for, uh, I th- well, that's the kind of cool, cool thing about Zelda is they can kind of get away with any art style they want. Yeah. yeah. They can, they really can. <laughs> By the way. They can do literally anything. Yeah. I want to help out a little bit for everyone because i also have no idea about sayonara wild hearts but mm. i'm just gonna read it real quick it's a dreamy arcade game about riding motorcycles skateboarding dance battling shooting lasers and wielding swords and breaking hearts at 200 miles per hour what the fuck sounds like actually, that, that, that sounds means nothing insane. to me <laughs> i know so if you look up google images there's multiple images of like it looks like two people in suspenders dancing midair Ooh. with swords and like three people like like facing off like while they're riding their motorcycles as like like a surfboard or whatever and like they're about to <laughs> fight with swords it looks insane and visually it has a neat aesthetic i have no idea what the actual gameplay is like because i have no idea what i'm looking at well i guess um, that's not what we're talking about but like that's... well it's not the gameplay this is yeah the, no, this is the no, 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 i mean <laughs> that's all that matters true, true. I, I mean i mean gameplay in the sense that i don't know what it looks like in motion because i've, oh, okay, I've, right. I've oh, never seen this before look up a video i don't know yeah uh, I wonder what, I mean, what Greece is though. Like that means gray actually, it's in gris. Gris is it gris? gris. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, apparently, it's an indie platform <laughs> adventure game by uh, Namada Studios. That's all it says. Well, it's a Devolver game. Epic. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, it does look, it does look pretty cool. But oh uh, my I god, actually, more... so looking at a lot of the art, it I'm, I'm probably inaccurate, but it looks like Art Nouveau. Uh, like oh, a lot okay. of. Like it's a really nice art style, uh, and the one GIF I found is really cool animation. So, I don't know. <laughs> but nice. for real, it, it could be interesting. I don't think Death Stranding art direction. Maybe mm, I don't know about I, that. I feel like it's too weird. <laughs> like, well, because it has some elements. Like visually, there's some interesting stuff there, but I don't know if that's necessarily fits in terms of art direction. Yeah, um, well, because the thing is, I'm thinking about like Shadows Die Twice, and I'm just like, well, that game's very very pretty as well so it's just like yeah <laughs> i i get it i i because like it's, it's definitely more visually interesting than like the the dark souls games where it's like mm-hmm. everything's bleak and and you know that's the point here it's more like a japanesey like cherry blossom like trees and like really yeah uh, colorful buildings and stuff um so i mean i don't know <laughs> like i don't know yeah. enough about these games to be like oh this one <laughs> Yeah, but in terms of, like, creativeness, I, I I mean, despite not knowing these two games, I think Gris and Sayonara are, are, might be, and Link's Awakening, because I, I do think it's actual overall art direction is pretty good. I think those three might be interesting mm, to compare, up there. assuming I knew what yeah. <laughs> what these were. It'll be one of those three that win. Yeah. 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 Well, dude, Control, though, come on. Like, there's a reason <laughs> why it's on every one of these so oh, yeah, far. Dude, I honestly hope just Control wins everything. <laughs> every award. Like, just to piss everyone off. <laughs> how many? How much money did they pay to the control? Like the the victor here, I have a no whole twelve dollars. <laughs> whole twelve. Oh, tree Dude, that's a lot. I know. Which they then have to split between the entire like production team. <laughs> everyone made three cents. Jesus Christ! I can't wait till we get to the, <laughs> to the one after the next one. So, uh, I just want to skip audio design. Well, I, mean, I don't feel like I have anything to talk okay. about for audio. It's because the same games again. It's like yeah, okay, right. Okay, well, let, let's <laughs> okay. at least I want to read off the nominations yeah, because they're they're yeah. really quite striking. <laughs> Are you guys ready They're for this? Really we have quite striking. for audio design. <laughs> yes, we have Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, Control, <gasps> Death Stranding, <laughs> Gears Five, Resident Evil Two, and Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. Resident. That had the perfect. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Resident Evil the, 2. That had the perfect amount of sass. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm wondering if Control might win just because no one knows about it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, man, I kind of hope so. It, this great. game just sounds awesome. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I haven't played it. 
God damn, that's all I can say. It's like, yeah, I know. I saw a trailer and it looks. If it's on Steam, know. I'm gonna check if it's on Steam. If it is, I I'm gonna put it on my it wish is. list. Oh, it is. Hell yeah, okay, I'm putting it on my wish list. Oh, okay. All I can <laughs> say is that RE2 is on. Me. It comes out August 20th. It's coming it's not out. It came out in August. It's not on Steam. No, no, no. On PC, it's coming soon. It's coming August 2020. Oh no! Bastards! Yeah, I can't vote for it. In good <laughs> How conscience. dare they? I, I How dare there, they? Sorry. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's on my, it's on my all, wish list all I can now. say about RE2 oh, is Jesus that Christ. the zombies sounded cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Wait, was RE2 the one with the guy that follows you around a lot? Yeah, yeah. Did you see Which the mod you... where he, he's he's uh? <laughs> what is it like? Oh, God damn it! What is it? Um, someone turned him into the goose, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Mr. X? Uh, it, it almost makes me wish yeah. I had it on PC just for the mods. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I wish I had a giant yeah. goose chasing me around. <laughs> oh, I guess Control came out on PS4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. So yeah. you can probably oh, get it through the Steam. Windows Store. Oh. Yeah. See, yeah. I might game check game. that out. Because like I said, I, it looks interesting and like... All right, oh, no. so because we don't have anything to really say about audio support, and I think I know why D-Pad wants to get to this next one. Yeah. Community support. <laughs> Does anyone uh, care to read what our <laughs> yeah? So our for community are? support, we got. By the way, keep in mind this is for recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness. We got Apex Legends from Respawn, Destiny Two from Bungie, Final Fantasy uh, Fifteen from Fourteen. Uh, Woo! Believe... Oh, sorry, Fourteen. <laughs> Four. My bad. That was, uh, legit. I don't yeah, know how it's ever fine. <laughs> from Square Enix. Does it make a joke about ramen? <laughs> but I can't. Know. <laughs> Uh, Fortnite from Epic Games and Tom Can- Clancy's uh, Rainbow Six Siege from Siege. Ubisoft times two. Um, Fortnite could win a Game of the Year award. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Just let that sink in. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, honestly. I kind of hope I, it does. I think it's pretty fair. Yeah, I mean, they support it a lot, for sure. Yeah. yeah I can actually see it winning the most, because I feel like yeah. out of all of these games, Fortnite is the one with the most active community. They're constantly updating it with new things. Whether whether people like it or not, yeah, um, yeah, Spin I feel like facts. they probably have yeah. the best. Chance yeah, I mean Siege, they they updated. A lot. I haven't played Siege for like a year, but they they still updated with new characters. Yeah, yeah, I've I've been I've been oh, okay, in tune yeah. with, I've been keeping up with most of these, except I have no idea about Final Fantasy, uh, not fifteen because <laughs> not even 15. Know, <laughs> This is the MMO, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've heard good stuff about it, and I think of all of these, uh, FF fourteen yeah. is probably the one that's least vocal like yeah. they're very passionate like the, the people who play this game are incredibly passionate right. but like in terms of all of these these this is like the one that you'll probably hear about the the least uh, yeah but like there, there's definitely still a lot of support like they do they do a lot of like cross promotion like there was a there was an event with uh near automata there was an event with final mm. fantasy 15 um there was another one they did with another square game uh and like you, you can always get like uh different mounts to ride like for <laughs> there was a car in final fantasy 15 um it was oh like one God. of the, the the made modes of transportation and and this mmo is like completely like 100 percent. this is a fantasy land like from from <laughs> beginning to end so like imagine just going through a fantasy land of like dragons and uh, unicorns and then all of a sudden there's just a goddamn like car <laughs> like, <it's> just, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like mario distance. kart when they had mercedes yeah. Like, yeah exactly that's, that's exactly what it is yeah it's 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 very fun. What I like the most about it, despite I'm not really into MMOs, but like what I like the most about it is that you don't really need to like ha- be with a bunch of people. Like you you do need the internet an internet connection, but like you can play it as a single player campaign. Except for like the the few dungeons that'll be like, okay, well now we're gonna put you with random people because you need to be a team. But like for the most part, yeah. it's it's a single player experience if you want it to be. Yeah, um, I don't know. For these, I, I think Fortnite most likely followed mm-hmm. by uh, Siege because honestly, Siege they've done a great job. But Destiny Two, really? Like, hasn't there just been constant like complaints? I've, I'm only I'm an outside looking in on that one, and I sometimes just browse the top from the Reddit. But yeah. honestly, I, I you know what they really need up here though? Can I just say uh, we that? need Anthem? Anthem is the one with. The I've best heard a lot of good things support. about Anthem too. Yeah. That's a joke. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. yeah, that was a complete joke. Anthem. Yeah, Anthem's was, actually like trash. Okay, really rough. Um, there was a thing where um, I think it was like a level one dude got put into uh the final, or it was like stuff where people were getting put into the final like mission of the game without ever playing anything else. So they got the game spoiled for them. Like crazy it's stuff. It's just I, 
it's a whole it's a whole thing and i, I might have described it wrong but the point is it's yeah um so destiny maybe but i feel like destiny 2 is just such a weird thing because i can't tell if everyone over there likes it or just hates themselves too much to stop playing it to like, stop playing it <laughs> yeah but fortnite they even though it. it's been so questionable and it's honestly cringy they've done some really interesting stuff things like um it was this year they added well because the game's only been out for a year and a half now year and a half yeah yeah but uh this year they added things like the uh what is it like the community block where there's a section of the map that would be changed out for people's creations which is really interesting that's pretty cool a ton of modes ton of different things happening they had the digital um when was the thanos thing they had the thanos thing uh i yeah that was this year oh that was (laughs) they had a lot of stuff um and when it comes to responsiveness uh yeah i I think that's probably accurate i don't know if it's always what people want to hear in terms of like how they're adjusting stuff but uh Mm. i think the conversation about fortnite is more of a two-way street. It doesn't street. say quality. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> it, true. Says, it literally says support, transparency, responsiveness. Well, I guess outstanding, but it, what they could just mean is like they're okay. They're outstanding at like saying, or like like <laughs> talking to their audience. Yeah, I guess I guess Destiny yeah. Two would stand out for being bad. <laughs> like that's still outstanding. <laughs> but honestly, I think Fortnite would be the one to deserve this one. Though that might also be argued. To, uh, Rainbow Six Siege is still they've done some good stuff with it, and they've been tweaking things um for a while and there's still new uh stuff coming out and i think it's cool i think it's really cool but i don't know how it exactly compares to fortnite because i haven't actively played fortnite for a while right yeah. all right well let's move on to content creator of the year PewDiePie yeah, on this list. One. i don't want to see uh, i don't want to see it yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so here's the thing okay i just want to <laughs> say one thing because they're probably going to skip this <clears throat> right okay uh, game awards really needs to stop doing content creator of the year because yeah. for every one game that comes out there's going to be 1,000 content creators to make that game. Mm -hmm. So there's literally thousands upon thousands, if not millions of people that make videos. And the fact that they're trying to narrow it down to five is going to please literally nobody except the people that are, I guess like the the people that are the fan of these people. But for the most part, like I've never heard of any of these guys. I've heard of Courage. I've heard of Lupo. I've heard of Shroud. I've heard of Courage, I guess. I've never watched them though. Yeah. I just want to throw out there. Shroud's a cool guy from everything I've seen. That's it. Like I'm not saying they're bad people. No, no, no I know, I know. My but point. that's all I have to say on this entire category is that he's cool and good at FPS games. Um, did did right. he make it like a positive impact? I have no idea. And Ewok is... Is he from Fortnite? Yeah. Like, I see Fortnite on his shirt. <laughs> is, is he, he Mr. Fortnite? Fortnite? <laughs> I'm sure he's, he's a Fortnite video gamer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he was is he the guy that won <laughs> the world? Because there was a guy... Fortnite yeah, kid, fifteen. Oh yeah, that's right. I think that's Googling him. it. Let's go. <laughs> You're there we go. So yeah. I guess maybe he gets that because I know of him. <laughs> your your words are incredible today, Deep. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't is, know. Is, man. It's, it's, is he okay, from so... Fortnite? Did he win the world? <laughs> okay, so just look at him. Like, so I, I hate uh, him. Just... Fam Jam. Yeah, Ewok is a she. Oh, okay, oh, my bad. And she's deaf. Oh, and she's thirteen. What? <laughs> So that's that's the oh thing, wow! Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm with gonna, those I'm credentials, <laughs> I think that they win. I'm yeah, vote for her. And she wins. <laughs> yeah, okay, she'll yeah. probably win then. I, when the, who is who is she then? Is she like? Does she win a bunch she's of stuff? Or she's just like gamer. she's a Fortnite gamer. Like, I just I don't okay. think they should keep doing content creator of the year uh, unless yeah. if they're gonna do it's that. They have broad. got it's to yeah, yeah, it's way too broad. They've got to at the very least split it into multiple gaming categories like, like i don't know fps streamers um yeah. more like family friendly or like nintendo right um even they even like make, specifically minecraft specifically fortnite team. yeah 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 well okay. there's the streamies so i guess that kind of counts but oh, anyway yeah before we move on like i was gonna say like is there anyone like you guys would like nominate for content creator of the year like in general like let's say like if you had to pick oh, right. one person um, if i had to pick i would just pick shroud because i know him more than anyone else but i, I, I don't mean just from this list no i mean like general. someone someone like, so, someone that's not on this list i guess prefer oh okay. okay yeah actually actually i do have someone i would pick okay. um i would pick call me carson because that guy has exploded um he actually has pretty good videos and he is a master at making memes of himself yeah, I haven't I think actually he is content creator seen of any of these videos. I recently watched I like a podcast he recorded with Philly D. And honestly, he 
I, I think he is a person that is deserving of an award like this. Cause yeah, you're right. He's yes, fantastic at making memes. And when it comes to like more of just him as a person, he seems like a solid dude, like in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very down to earth, uh, which is, that's good to see. Cause a lot of people that blow up that they kind of start to the build up an ego, but not him. He's still himself. Yeah. By so. the way, can I correct and myself? He works really hard too. Yeah. You need to I want correct to yourself really quickly. <laughs> Correct myself on Ewok. I apologize for not understanding that. So she's a deaf 13 year old Fortnite pro gamer for Phase, which is really actually cool. The first female member also, and the nice. second one under 14. Uh, and as of me. today, so weird. Uh, on November, she was the latest streamer to leave Twitch. Got <laughs> 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 to stream exclusively on Mixer. Twitch. Oh my god! Wow! Oh! Damn! Yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> no, for real. I mean, rose. honestly, it looks like she's pretty accomplished, and I imagine. An absolute whiz at Fortnite, because dear God, can you imagine getting signed at thirteen? That's, That's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I, I had no idea who she was or any of the other people, and the picture is well, very. Who would you? Well, I guess let's go through. <laughs> who would who would you personally nominate as content creator of the year? I'd probably I'd go with Scott the Waz. I think he's like like a he's huge force, up. huge force <laughs> yeah. in the video game, like. Yeah. I think he's doing. I think that I would have. See, I didn't pick Scott because he kind of blew up last year, and I'm just thinking of like sure, this, this year because Call Me right. Carson's. But I think like even like he this is he's only blown up yeah, this year. I think so. even this year though, I think like uh, Scott's doing for like for retro gaming. I think he's doing what AVGN did like pretty much what almost ten years ago. I feel like he's like rekindling that kind of retro gaming scene, which kind of started fall falling out in the past couple of years. And he just yeah, like a different way too. Yeah, he just brings focus to like all these niche topics, and he's still able to get hundreds of thousands of views because like his personality in these videos. Um, I feel like it's just something a lot of people resonate with, which is uh, which is really great. So yeah, that'd be that'd be my pick. Yeah. Oh, what boy. about you, now? <clears throat> it's, it's kind of hard for me because like I, I, there, there aren't a whole lot of like other um, content creators outside of <laughs> our bubble that I, that I watch. Um, so it it would definitely be. What's well, okay hard if you for can't me. think of anyone? Yeah, no, I don't, yourself. I, don't, I don't. I don't feel. Yeah, no, 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 that's the that's the worst guys, thing to do. I, I'm, I I'm nominate Brathaniel because he reached half a billion today. <laughs> today. <laughs> wow, that's like a. You guys are all fake fans. Yeah. Uh, Jablinski games. <laughs> Jablinski. I've been watching oh Jablinski forever. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've, yeah, I've never watched, watched a, a single one of his videos. I watched it for the first couple months. Game. I could only handle so many no no gameplay today, guys. Uh, <laughs> until I kind of stopped. I was like, okay, a joke kind of wore its, yeah. like, wore its course the, for The me. only time I saw, I've ever seen Jablinski Games was when he made his announcement that he was doing YouTube. <laughs> that one time outside of the <laughs> E3 Center. Yeah, was, wasn't he right beside us when we were talking? Yeah, to, he, was, he was right to behind the, us. Oh, yeah, we were talking that's right. Go, yeah. I didn't even see him. I was like, you're like, no, that was Jack Black. I'm like, what? Where? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we were we were talking to like the, this dude who works with Elgato. It was it was Nintendo, Nico, Tetra, and myself. I think uh, yeah. it was the four of us. We were, we were just outside of like the uh, the theater that we were at where we went to the AMD thing. Yeah, and I guess like he he was doing a thing there. And, like Nico all day was like, I just want to go see Jablinski games. Like that's all I want to do today. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then like oh, yeah. he walks right he walks right beside us. Oh, yeah. All Nico and I could do was like look at him and then at each other and be like, Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I wish I, like I can't believe I didn't notice that. I felt like I, I felt so like disheartened after. I was like, No way did I just miss seeing Jack Black and like five feet away from me. Yeah, but we oh. saw Ninja though. He was chilling yeah, his wife, was, I think. Cool. <laughs> I didn't see that either. I missed all these good opportunities, what? dude. <laughs> oh, man. I was with um, Sasso Studios and his editor, and we were like, uh, oh, shit, Ninja's right next to us. At the party? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did. We did see oh, freaking okay. Todd Rogers at the party. And that, I, I take oh, it back. What? I take it back. That was wait, the best thing. I took a picture. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. I took a picture. Okay. Um, Tetra, were you there? Were you there when we saw Jeff, Jeff Keighley? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Jeff Keighley. At no, I saw that him. Was I, saw him I saw him at PAX. Yeah, I didn't see him in the summer. Okay, I think it was Nico, John, and I. We were like outside the YouTube gaming thing, and then like just out of nowhere, <laughs> Jeff Keighley just walks up beside us. Like I guess he was like going home or something. <laughs> and, and you all know John. Like he's he's just yeah. like super chill. He's like, "Hey Jeff, how's it going? Real, real good, right?" <laughs> we're just, just like, "Dude." 
no way you're like actually <laughs> talking Dude. to Jeff. Ke- like, he, was, he was really nice. <laughs> okay, whoever edits this video, I'm gonna send you the blurry ass picture I took of uh, Todd Howard. He was just sitting on the grass, like <laughs> five feet away from like we were like I don't know who was with me. We were just like kind of huddled in a group talking, and he was just sitting on the ground with some like with some lady like five feet away from us. I turn around, I'm like, it's fo- it's follow and and Elder Scrolls man. <laughs> <laughs> just like sneakily <laughs> sniped a picture. Scrolls, I sneakily sniped a picture, and like it was so blurry. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll let someone put it up on screen. But yeah, it was it was wild that we saw freaking Todd Howard, absolute That's awesome. legend. That's crazy. Yeah. Can we get the grass he was sitting on as creator of the? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Todd, you Todd you took grass. my joke. I was gonna say Todd Howard for creator of the year. <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> it doesn't work though, because cre- he's the creator of the decade. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> But that grass, that was the content creator of the year. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, per- personally, I can't come up with any content creator of the year. I mean, PewDiePie yeah, for bringing Minecraft same. back into uh, the mainstream yeah. again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. It's a good if, pick. I, that's, I think that uh, there's a re- reasonable argument to be made there. And he's, yeah, he's done he's so many things. million and, this year, too. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah, but when it comes to like an impact on the industry, like he also just started playing Terraria, and I feel like that's going to make Terraria super big, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, he just, he just started actually, playing it. A couple weeks yeah. ago. just as in within the last week. Yeah. So he's on episode three or four. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's probably he's vibing what, with it. So it looks like it'll be a which series. Is, which is funny because isn't like Terraria reaching its final update or something? I was gonna say that's the problem though. They <laughs> they delayed it to 2020 in terms of like maybe January oh. or something. So it was gonna be December, and they delayed it. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, be um, <laughs> they they do have their final farewell update coming, which is like a big final thing and it looks like it's gonna be cool mm-hmm. so terraria might be really big again soon or maybe already but and, and maybe they won't have a goodbye no i, I think they still will because they want to move on to other stuff that's fair. i that's think fair. it's fair that they it's been like they should end eight it. years so yeah. i think since it came out yeah. yeah no i think this is the way they should do it where it's like it's still reasonable yeah um Wait no! Oh shit! I just realized we should. I should have voted for Cube World for Game of the Year. Cube World. <laughs> no, yeah, Cube World came out. That is a uh, disappointment of the decade, actually. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but anyways, I I have nothing else to say on content creator. Right. Where Let's were you guys Let's when you Kim Kikoma Jiang Young from SK Telecom T1 LOL won <laughs> that one game? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's we don't an know. LOL anybody. moment. <laughs> Dude, I, oh, what are you talking about? I don't know any of these people. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm. Oh no, I thought you said. I was gonna say, like, I don't know anything about sk- League of Legends. But I, I skipped know it's the huge. Family Game. I didn't even read the esports because none of us care about esports. No, I don't think. I used to care. Bruh, about, like, you can't I just used say to care that. About, like, CS:GO esports back in the day. I was telling you how. Oh, I, so you know I, I, everything I won... about Danny Zonic Sorensen. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Astralis. Sorry, you're, being real, you're, you're being real saucy right now. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to say. Right before we started recording this, I won an ARAM as Cassiopeia in League of Legends. Nice. So I know uh, I'm a I'm a bit of a scientist myself. Okay, <laughs> and I I, I, I literally name. only know three of these people, and I only know one of I only know three of them because of the team they're on. Um, so yeah. Um, could it possibly be I Team Liquid LOL or Team Liquid CS:GO? LOL. Haha, <laughs> that rhymes. Oh, actually, oh, wait, actually, you're right. Yeah, so technically, I know four of them. We all know very little in this, and I, I right. barely know about like half these people. So <laughs> you know more than the rest. The of other them. one, <laughs> yeah, the other one is the esports team. Uh, there's uh, Astralis for CS:GO, no clue. G2, I know them. OG, don't know. San Francisco Shock, don't know. And Team Liquid uh, for CS:GO, don't know. Uh, G2 is cool, and they won worlds, so they win. <laughs> <laughs> so they win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. I think they've all won something. But good for them. They're cool. Uh, but oh, look, dude, there's stuff we can talk there's about. There's Nintendo. <laughs> family game. Yeah, so go ahead. For the best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform, we have Luigi's Mansion 3 by Next Level Games. I love that game. Ring Fit Adventure, Let's Get Fit, y'all, by Nintendo EPD. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2, which just had an update uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, Smash oh, Ultimate yeah. and Yoshi's Crafted World. All Nintendo oh. games. I think it's yeah. Smash Ultimate again. Uh, prob- yeah. I yeah. feel like it's going to be Mario Maker. I don't know, like, as far as a family, but, like, do you see a family playing Mario Maker 2? Not at all. I don't Maybe? see a family playing I think, Smash Bros. I don't, like, I don't... <laughs> well, I mean... What, what do you mean? That's, like, that's like the most party game out of all of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, it's well, really Ring... family games. 
they're, Ring they're Fit Nintendo Adventure, games. I could sort of, I could sort of see like people gathering around because like okay, they, okay. they would be lying to us in those ads. Like if if they if there weren't a bunch of people surrounded by one person working out. Can I offer <laughs> a hypothetical to help you think of this? Uh, family game. I'm making this up, but what if you had all these games to choose from at a holiday dinner with like your cousins <laughs> and uncles? Which which game would yeah. you play? Mario Kart Eight. <laughs> Okay. I mean the games that are on the list. Damn, he's. I right. promise like you, that. my my family are interested in none of these games. They like. I know, Mario but Party. if you had to choose one, if I had to choose Jesus one, Christ. I wouldn't pick. <laughs> <laughs> these okay, are not, well, I'm just saying. I know. I'm just saying. Like, I know you're. I know these, what you're I, saying. You're saying hypothetically. Yeah. I don't know. Well, they don't. They don't like Mario or Luigi or Ring Fit or okay, Smash that, Bros or Yoshi. That's fair. I, I will say, of these, can you exp- like? Would you hand like a family member like, "Hey, you're fat. How can you play some adventure, please?" <laughs> Jesus, like. Okay, so ugh. I guess I could see my mom playing Ring Fit Adventure. That's it. Sure. Oh, well, yeah, maybe like not. I don't know. Grandpa's I don't think playing she would like the RPG bowling. stuff. Okay, that would uh, confuse her. Okay, but even outside of like parents, let's not let's not talk about like parents that don't play games. Yeah. Let's talk about just like playing with the brothers or cousins or whatever, like. People that are like, yo, with it, dog. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's not talk about like boomers and stuff. Let's talk about just, like, oh my god. Let's talk about let's the not talk about let's talk millennials and lower brothers. <laughs> let's talk about like let's talk about like friends and stuff. Like let's say like <laughs> like adults are at the table. The kids are like, yo, let's play some video. They're like, okay, <laughs> how about like, some three, Fortnite? It, <laughs> But like a realistically a console game. But I like, just want to know real, if you have games on your phone. I, if I were to play this with like a friend, I would pick Smash Bros. Yeah, I just or Mario go. Maker. I don't know one of the two. I think between I'm, I'm those torn, two are probably yeah. realistic. But yeah, as much as I ever said, let's adventure. say you had four people to play with, like four brothers, friends, whatever to play with. Which one? Game <laughs> well, that, okay, well that's just unfair because, because only Smash. one of these games. <laughs> that's un- yeah, that's unfair because most of these games are either one or two player, except Smash Bros. No, that's that's, that's, what that's, I mean. that's actually not true. Looking at as a family. Well, game. well here's Mario the thing. Maker two, you, you can, can play with four, game. but like you're assuming I have that... more than two friends. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're assuming I have you friends have, near me. One and a half. You have three yes. No, but I was gonna say you can actually have four people in Louis. I think you'd actually have up to eight, maybe in Louis Mansion three. But like, it, but is that but is that single console or is that yeah it's single console? I don't know. I think it's single console. yeah. I don't, the, I don't know. Yeah, I just can't I imagine know. like a lot of people going like, "Dude, do you want to play Luigi's 3? <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah. I, I think of it more yeah. as a single player game than a family game. Yeah. yeah. Okay, my final vote is Smash Bros. Same. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, now, speaking just of like Smash Bros. Year. <laughs> Oh. Smash game. Smash Bros. Also fighting game of the year. Yes. Well, so the fighting game nominees are Dead or Alive 6, Jump Force, Mortal Kombat 11, Samurai Showdown, and Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> Smash Bros. I remember Obviously, sure Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. is a party game. Obviously, Smash Bros. Sound Effect number 2 Ultimate is going to be the, the winner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bruh. Sound Effect 2 <laughs> Ultimate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jump Force is so weird. Have you seen played that? I, I've only no. seen a little I haven't bit played of, it. about it. Heard of it? You can play as Seto Kaibo, which is dope. <laughs> True. Are you going to Dude, send people could... to the Shadow Realm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can much. bring out Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's awesome. Yeah. No, for real, it's neat, but it's so weird. In terms of uh, primarily head-to-head, I don't know if I'd actually consider Smash Ultimate for head-to-head. Because there's so many different modes um, that well, yeah, I feel but, like it thrives at. But, but when it comes when it like overall when, when it comes to like tournaments sure. and stuff, that, like that is one v one. I've never even heard of Samurai Showdown. Like. That, yeah, that, same. He has a big chest, though. That is Can true. Can say that much? Like, <laughs> so we have two no, I, big I would say Smash games. Bros. still wins. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Out of all these games. Yeah. Even, like, Probably. Mortal Kombat. It's a more... In- Smash Bros. is more in-depth than even, like, Mortal Kombat is. And Mortal Kombat yeah, didn't have, like, a strong uh, release, as far as I know. Like, Smash Bros. is I mean, infinite combos with 80 characters. <laughs> I mean, yeah. how do you top that? I mean... You can't. Can you expect anybody in Mortal Kombat to be able to jump all the way around Hyrule? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's right. They cannot make the jump in Hyrule Temple. <laughs> exactly. For no, I was gonna say um, was in my recommended for like six months, and then I clicked it and clicked away, and it finally went away. Oh, and then now there's th- thirty thousand of them because there's yes. yeah, infinite videos on those. From I was Yeet gonna say, Smash, so I'd probably still vote for Smash. Man. Yeah. Ultimate. But kudos to Dead or Alive Six and Mortal Kombat Eleven. For what I understand, they're pretty solid uh, mm-hmm. in terms of like just generally. I'm sure. Like, because they're installments, yeah. yeah, but... I'm sure they're good games, but they're competing with Smash Bros, so uh, yeah. they don't really stand and a And I have no idea about Samurai Showdown. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, but so it's so it's showdown. Sh- showdown. Showdown. Show. Yeah. Just, show. Showdown. Of course. There's no shot own. <laughs> showdown. I already have a. Yeah. Showdown. Oh, no. Shut up. Shut up. Fresh <laughs> indie game of the presented year. Presented by, by Subway. Subway. By Subway. <laughs> Baby. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Fresh. It's, it's, okay, so nominees okay, it's, are. Yeah. Zow. Zow. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll read off the nominees for the freshest indie game. We got four Disco Elysium. We got Grease again. We have. My Friend Pedro, Outer Wild, Slay the Spire, and the one that's going to win, Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw My Friend Pedro, I, I, I was just like, that weird banana game? <laughs> like, I, I know nothing about it. <laughs> I haven't played any of these. Oh, dude, you I, gotta play Goose Game. Vote for Outer Wild, so but I thought it was Outer Worlds. I yeah. have Goose Game, I just haven't played oh, it yet. It's so cool. But um, I know it's going to win. Yeah. It's, it, I know it's going to win. I'm gonna no I, I haven't played it. That- I mean, uh, la- that game came out when Link's Awakening came out, and it and it, it was selling better. I mean, yeah. an indie game beating <laughs> yeah. a Zelda game. That's insane. It, it, it's I... just a hilarious game, like, overall. Oh, yeah, it's a great yeah. game. There's nothing like it. If you want a fresh experience, in terms of... this is it. <laughs> also, in terms of games that, like, they come out and, like, they're on the map, I think House House succeeded the most there. Um, I do know that uh, Slay the Spire is pretty solid. Uh, I played it. For my friend, or her, sorry, my friend Paige. I don't know why. I, I hate that it said four for all of them because I'm like keep reading it wrong. Yeah. yeah. Um. For that one, d- does anybody actually care? Like the trailer was cool, but I don't even really... know what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a two D um puzzle shoot because it's like you're shooting stuff up and you're you're just doing weird combo tricks and like why has it got a banana it's... on it though? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the duck's cool though. That's all I can say. I don't know. Like honestly. <laughs> Goose game probably has a uh, like it's it it really like it, it what better it does have there better be a goose that walks up and gets that award. If I see <laughs> oh a real person, god, oh my god, that would be so that, epic if that fantastic. happens. <laughs> just walks off stage. The goose like, just no! like snaps the award out of the the guy's hand. He's like, ow! And then the goose <laughs> walks the away. Award in the lake. What are you doing? Yep. <laughs> award in the lake. Okay, let's let's cast. skip game direction because it's the same games we've talked about. It's like the same games, times. yeah. Death Stranding, <laughs> actually would say Death Stranding for that one. Yeah, it's different. Right, but games? I mean, because when it comes to creative vision, Kojima is on acid twenty four seven. But that's <laughs> yeah. Games for well, impact. Let's skip games for impact. These. Yeah. We've already talked about impact like the whole time. Indie uh, games. Yeah. Uh, that's literally the same. Th- like, well, yeah. it's fairly. Si- I don't know. Let's skip that one. Sure. I've only Baba seen Katana you. Zero. Baba is, you is a good game it. though, and Katana Zero is also yes. A that was the one we played. Yeah. Oh, Baba Azu. Yeah, Baba Azu is fantastic. Um, for sure. Yeah. What about you, uh, Mobile Where's Raid Shadow Legends? Where's, Where's Raid yeah, Shadow Legends? I did not. Only the best mobile game. I did not take a sponsorship with you because I didn't think you were the best mobile game in the history of ever. Where are you <laughs> on this list? I can't believe you're getting... Wait, Sirenar Wild Hearts is a mobile game? I, I guess. guess. <laughs> sure. I feel... I, okay. I can't even tell what it is. Like... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, multiplayer Tetris, Tetris 99. 99. That has to win. Oh, honestly, no. I'm sorry. Honestly, has to I, w- win. I, w- I would be disappointed if Tetris didn't win <laughs> for multiplayer game. Because yep. it's like, it stands the test of time. Like, there are still people playing to this day. And like, I mean, it just Dude, came I've out. Dude, I've been pl- playing but... it nonstop. Well, not recently. Yeah, exactly. I've been busy. But like, when I wasn't working as much, I was playing it every night for like an hour or two. You can just pick awesome. it up and play it like whenever, and, and like you just get better and better and better. Like the the other games, just like sure, but it has ninety nine people playing Tetris. <laughs> like exactly. come on, <laughs> and you can unlock like themes and stuff. There's daily challenges. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff. They're still updating it. Tetra, sorry, not Tetra. Fuck. <laughs> Tetris is really cool. <laughs> Tetra, you're cool too. Tetra, yeah, Tetra 99. specifically. <laughs> they should make a Tetra I mean, ninety nine theme timeless. where all the pieces is yeah. just like. Your little Tetris pieces. It's just your face. Tetra pieces. <laughs> it's just your face. face yeah. T- Tetra pieces. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know of, where that was going. Of K- instead of instead that. of KO, you just hear "Hey guys." <laughs> <laughs> every every time you get Tetris. Every time you knock someone out. When you out, get a, a Tetris, you yeah. say "bits." <laughs> bits. 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 <laughs> That's like three Tetrises well, in a row. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Um, anything on narrative, by the way? I don't really uh, care about narrative. I put I put Outer Worlds, but I don't. I haven't played the other games, so I don't know any better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same. I'm kind of skipped. I'm kind of. Someone I, said someone said that Jeff Keighley was in Death Stranding. 
He is. I think that was deep. Is that so. accurate? <laughs> or what? That'd be hilarious if he was nominated as one of the performance oh my categories. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, yeah. He, he was on Your Death performance Stranded. is I just want to point out that the ongoing game is literally the exact same lineup as uh, game It support. is. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah it's the exact much. same thing. That's funny. That's silly. Jesus. Uh, performance. Okay, okay. I actually know a lot of these people. Holy crap. I feel oh, like it's probably going to be Norman Reedus. Uh, they added two people since four. I last checked. Huh. Oh, yeah. Well, because it's voiceover, motion, and overall performance. I think Norman fits the best. Um, yeah. But kudos yeah. to Ashley Nicholson. Birch. I th- she's been fantastic in a lot of her stuff. I didn't actually see Laura. Laura Bailey Gears 5, is but, like, one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's great. Uh, uh, Mads Mikkelsen is great, but he's an actor in a game. Well, so is well, Norman Reedus. Control. <laughs> Control, dude. <laughs> here we go <laughs> this game has bothered me so much because it's like it's, it's is everywhere this literally like god's gifts to, to, to our earth and i've never played it like i don't know like do i need to cancel my channel just to cover control like i'm i'm so conflicted oh i don't feel like i'm in control of my own life i just Anyways. i just had a peek um, to the next category yes yeah, yeah, so yeah, rpgs yeah, uh, we got Ooh. Disco Elysium, Final Fantasy, Final, Final Fantasy, um, Fukin fourteen, <laughs> Kingdom of Hearts, Trays, Monster That's Hunter World, big... Ice, and the Outer Worlds. Probably gonna be Kingdom oh, Hearts man. three. I imagine that one's gonna it, win. It, it was it was really hyped. I don't know if it's game of the year. Like I I love the game. Um, and I I would be delighted if it won. I don't know if it's deserving of it like i know yeah. that there would be huge hate from from the uh final fantasy 14 players if kingdom hearts 3 won <laughs> like there would be immense like anger on their part because like a lot of the funding uh for kingdom hearts 3 came from people's subscription to 14 hmm. um huh. so like they were just like oh okay cool so that's how it is um, i want to Personally, like of these, I think uh, Final Fantasy fourteen and Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Monster Hunter World is like solid, and when it comes to like when it says customization and progression, I think those two are probably it. I, yeah, dude, Disco Elysium. Apparently, you're it's an open world RPG where you play as a detective, and also there's zombies. I think question mark. <laughs> like what the? <sighs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Yeah, but no, I, I'd say probably either Monster Hunter or fourteen probably have it. I, I also, can't is imagine. there really progression in Kingdom Hearts three? Really? <laughs> well, you wrap really? up the story kind of, except we're getting DLC later. This I month. mean, is it progression when I have to listen to them talk in the game? Like, <laughs> what? Well, I don't yeah. think someone has counts. joined the battle. What is that? Someone has joined the fray. And Andrew, I hear. <laughs> we have who no one no, can hear because he's PlayStation. Guys, don't get too excited. Oh, well, sure, what are you yeah, doing, okay. PlayStation? I'm just kidding. What's up? Hello. Hey, quiet, lad. Alrighty. Yeah, you're yeah, very you are quiet. quiet. He's I not recording his audio, so... Oh, yeah, this doesn't work if you're not recording your audio. You're going to have to cut this out. Cut out part of this <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. He said that we're very cool. We're oh. legit. That's exactly what he said. Paraphrasing. Here, I'll put my, like, headphones around my mic, and you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Me to Tendru, and I'm here to say everybody in this uh, podcast is real cool. Neat. Nailed Thanks. it. Thanks. <laughs> but. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, he said bye. <laughs> Good that was an epic, epic guess. Cameo. <laughs> Hell yeah. Epic cameo. Okay, so let's go on to score music. You usually have to pay for ah, those. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Dude, we get them for free. <laughs> we get them for free. Um, Cadence and Cadence of Hyrule, I think, is a really interesting choice, especially yeah. especially yeah. as the only rhythm game on this list. Mm-hmm. I really hope it wins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't know that it's not a rhythm game for Sayonara. That's... <laughs> it's, a, it's a quasi state right. of every game platform and type <laughs> until you play it. I guess that's true. No, for real. Uh, of these, Kingdom Hearts 3 or Kingdoms of Hyrule. That's my opinion. Kingdom I mean, Hearts 3 has Death Stranding, fantastic music. Yeah, Death Stranding does have some really interesting uh, licensed stuff, and uh, I think original, but like I, I haven't played enough of it to really know. Uh, and, and Devil May Cry 5 will never beat DMC, so I don't know that fails. <laughs> I just have to keep uh, going at that until it becomes a meme. All I, all I really remember from Cadence, because I, I saw uh, Nico play it, um, Mm-hmm. And, and Big Girl play it at, at, at like uh, this year, and all I, all I can remember is the main theme. 
like the like the really cool remix. It's a really cool soundtrack. Yeah, in general. Okay. Do, do any of you fellas pl- play sport ball or racing game? I sport ball twenty twenty. Okay, so <laughs> Jesus Christ. This one would I feel like normally be boring, but they have Crash Team Racing on here, which yeah, sticks out like right? a sore thumb. And it's actually <laughs> a really good yes. game. Okay, for context, we have Crash Team Racing and then Dirt Rally 2.0, E Football Pro Evolution. I want to say Evolution, Soccer 2020, <laughs> F1 2019, and like FIFA 20. But the dude is doing like a weird like. This is how you do a bird like <laughs> motion with his hands. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. So FIFA, I don't think should ever deserve. No, that's too harsh. Anything. <laughs> Anything. Good day, sir. No, honestly, I, I just have a disdain for that franchise. Um, F1 never played it. Uh, Evolution. Pro, pro, pro Evolution Soccer exactly. is like the same it's thing. It's soccer, as soccer, racing, racing, kart racer. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Dirt Rally from Modern Chain is solid. My, my thing my thing when I saw these nominees like a few days ago, I was just thinking like I don't feel like sports and racing should be on the same like yeah like category just because it's like well it, it's just too different because for example, a kart racer like crash right where you you, you have mm-hmm. items to throw people off the track or you have abilities it's like well don't really don't have that I've never played it, but I can assure you it doesn't have that <laughs> like you you have to depend yeah. on on just like your actual racing so it's like it, it's almost not fair because i would definitely love it i i I would much rather prefer to play crash than like a normal racer and i don't i don't feel like that's fair to other racing games yeah this is rough (gasps) oh okay yeah i i don't know did you peek into the next category i spoiled myself (laughs) oh horse strategy anything else strategy game oh strategy game i haven't played any of these Uh, i've played okay so uh total of zero of them (laughs) um you mean you haven't played War we Groove heard, by Chuckle? We Fish? heard about Anno. I haven't even played Tropico Six. I know. <laughs> yeah. God, sue me. Haven't played Anno eighteen hundred yet either. We heard about it during that contr- <laughs> actually Mouse presentation. Yeah, Moose. Moose. Oh yeah, I, that's I, right. I, that that's the only one I know other than Three Houses. I played through Three Houses and I had a waifu, so like. That <laughs> that, that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. Waifu bias. I don't here. think I could have a waifu in Tropico. The, the beard isn't going to do it for me. Yeah, and I haven't right. played Chuck, the Chucklefish game, so who knows? Total war. I realized I was like super hyped, but I actually have nothing <laughs> to say here. <laughs> I was just like, oh, it's a game I recognize. Where that's, is that's really it. Age of Empires 2 HD? That's what I want to Did know. that come out this year, or is oh, that okay. just a meme? Yeah, it came out like last, came out like last couple weeks ago. Oh, well, then that should be here because everyone loves that game. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, yeah. If they're putting Resident Evil Two remake, they might as well put like Age of Empires Two. Yeah. <laughs> so Best we have remake. Three they should have a category for that. Best that remake. That's actually yeah. fantastic. Best remake. Yeah. Yeah. Considering this, how many of them? Cra- yeah. Crash yeah. Nitro Fueled. Um, Age of Empires Two. <laughs> Resident Evil Two. <laughs> right. Yeah. They could easily mm-hmm. fill that out. Mm-hmm. Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Awakening. Yeah. Does help? <laughs> Would be easy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is another five. spoiler. Yeah, so I want to say, so for your game, I was going to make a joke. Does No Man's Sky count as a remake? <laughs> how much they have updated? Oh. How was it even here? Yeah, so, why so is to be fair, there? they did have VR. They how did have VR. Beats, Beat Saber is VR. Yeah, yeah that yeah, came out like two years ago. It came out this year. Oh, yeah, no one cares because Beat Saber is the only good one here. Yeah, I voted for Not Beat really, Saber. But like, yeah. Beat game. Saber, I think, deserves a it's vote. Dope. Though I will say, I fucking hate No Man's Sky. With a burning pad. I don't think anybody but, likes No Man's Sky. No, 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 no. That's not even true. No, it has dedicated fans. Does it? Oh. Uh, some people, uh, they, you know, like how there's early adopters. They were like early adopters of Stockholm Syndrome. So they <laughs> loved it from the start and they never stopped. But even though I hate it because I hate what, how they uh, treated it. it and what they promised. And I don't think uh, <laughs> Sean Murray should be in charge of ever promoting another game. <laughs> they've done incredible strides uh there's actual multiplayer i've played it it's it's pretty good um so a lot of those lies ended up becoming trues and these days i think it's a pretty decent game uh worth like say uh, 50 bucks because it's no longer like a new release so right. not 60 but it's good vr i don't know but like of these like well because it says vr ar like, yeah. and that's that's kind of the th- augmented reality yeah. like what's is there a single know. augmented reality game besides Minecraft and 3DS, the 3DS thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, 3DS. T- thing. T- technically, t- uh, you uh, have. Um, I guess Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go. Oh yeah, fair enough. 
Okay, there's that too. Yeah, but of and these, even though it didn't come out this year, yeah, of these, I think Beat Saber wins Be- just because it's such a fantastic game and yeah, uh, it's a fun game. That might also, though, rather than speaking to its qualities, even though it is great, it might speak more to the lack of solid a- a VR games. Probably, yeah. No I mean, because we, we, I mean, <laughs> we have Asgard's Wrath, yeah. Blood and Truth, Beat Saber, No Man's Sky, and Rick and Morty game. Rick and Morty game. Yeah. Um. Though jump a year, we might have uh what Alex from uh, Half Life. The oh yeah, what, I don't know if it's coming out next year or the next year, year after what, but March, March next year. Yeah, so I think VR might be way more interesting next year of a category, but for now, yeah, that might be the Beat first Saber like flagship be. VR game because right now all that they've got is Beat Saber, which is like barely. Yeah, that's a rhythm game that doesn't really count as a game. Whoa! Yeah, okay, yeah, you just said I, some like yeah. real harsh shit. Well, when uh, I, okay, I'm not okay. even that. So, Here's the I get thing. what you mean. I get what you mean. It's 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 more of a game that is made based off of like uh, fan made stuff, like Workshop, uh, custom track, and all that. So you're right. saying yeah. in terms of not a game. Yeah, I I totally agree, and I get that. Like it's not like, a full fledged game. That's what, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's more of a platform or a um, toolbox than necessarily an experience itself. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's a good way to describe it because um, I agree. Like if you get on PS4, decent, but like. The real meat and potatoes is like say on PC because on PC you could actually have the workshop mm. and get like a ton of custom tracks, um, and I would agree that yeah, it's more about what you the effort you put in to get the custom stuff. But yeah, I think Alex might be the first real flagship that I could say like VR that game. is a VR game that is <clears throat> selling. And there's people even making videos and obviously they're uh, huge fans of the series, but they're like, yeah, no, I'm getting VR just because of this, and like I believe That's it. Insane. And yeah, no, I believe yeah. it too. Um, I don't see I've never been super Mario 64 or Ocarina of Time VR here. <laughs> yeah. People can play that for 24 oh, hours. Oh, trust me, those how... are not good VR games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're miserable. <Yeah. laughs> how can you say that? You played it for a whole day. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> never um, again. But so if anybody doesn't know, th- that was actually the last category. And I think even though it's uh, literally bottom of the barrel and the options are that great, I I think this is one of those categories that I could have real interesting potential to be way more um, impactful, like next year. Yeah, in the future, the years to come. Yeah, because I even really like five years think... from now, because oh, VR, is still, way, yeah, VR is still like a baby. Like VR games, no one really knows what to do with them, and it's hard to find things to do with them because it's yeah. so easy to get motion sickness from these games. Mm-hmm. So you have to find ways to make them like really interactive, but also not too boring. But I don't know. It's really it's a hard thing to I think balance. Like Beast Saber yeah, works because you don't really move. You just turn your head a little bit and you swing your little sticks and then you hit blobs and that's it with music. Also, <laughs> and you pray that you say, don't hit anything. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Or no, you hit anything just really hard so it doesn't stop you. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, also there is the barrier to entry. Uh, there has been some new stuff coming out. Uh, the like As the new editions of like the Vive and whatnot come out, the other ones uh, drop in price t- slowly. Um, there's things like the, uh, I think Oculus quest, which is, uh, more of like a standalone piece. Like, I think once we get to the point where you could hook it up to your phone and have a relatively decent experience, once we can get, this isn't a mean, a meme, but a free to play game like shadow raid shadow legends <laughs> on VR. God, no, I'm serious. So. Like a game like that, like where it's a free to play, it looks good. It's just on your phone. And, like, that's solid. We didn't get that. We didn't have that when we had Flappy Bird and uh, Angry Birds and other bird other games. Other bird games. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. But you get what I mean, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. that barrier to entry now is so low. You can get incredible experiences on mobile. Yeah. And you don't have that for VR. Because um, everyone has a phone. I learned that from Could you uh, imagine Blizzard. just, everyone like, has po- a phone. Pokemon Go, but on VR instead of just augmented reality? That would be... It would be trippy. It, it, could, it has a lot of potential. Um, Minecraft Earth, for example, I think has potential as a VR also. But in general, I think it's like lowering the barrier to entry, more flagships. I, 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 some people meme and joke and think it's a dead genre already, and I really don't think that's true. I think augmented reality and VR are going to be huge, um, and I'm interested to see where this goes. And uh, at the moment, though, uh, Beast Saber is really good. Though, also, I think Blood and Truth is the one where you play as like a spy, and I think it's pretty oh, decent, but okay. not that incredible, or at least not that groundbreaking or like big but right. I, I, I saw it was pretty decent speaking of vr 
before we go on, apparently I'm looking at ways to watch with Game Awards, and apparently you can watch it in VR. Really? Are you serious? Oh, and that's that's not even Actually, the best part. Apparently, apparently okay. you can watch the Game Awards in 53 Cinemark cinemas across the United what? States. No, what? No, that's not fair. But wait, Weird. there's more. But wait, there's more. After the Game Awards, you also get to watch Jumanji the next level for some reason. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? When you click on it, it's okay. the Game Awards 2019 plus Jumanji the next level early screening. So apparently you watch the whole thing in one sitting. Runtime, 330 minutes. I can't oh believe we started God. at like Man, cereal boxes with like Chex Quest. <laughs> Could have gone to the and now movies we're here. to watch the Game Awards. That would have been that's fun. That's so weird. If we if we all live close to each other, I feel like that's something we would all just do. Like get tickets. Yeah, that right could be now. cool. <laughs> um, yeah, memes aside, that is actually pretty cool. And also, like the idea of like being able to see uh, live events in 3D uh, with uh, VR, I think is actually going to be a huge thing um, if done well. That's so well, scary. they're already doing it in some places. This is not that popular in the West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been able to do it for some stuff, and I think it's really cool. But it's just we're not quite there to be where it's like as it's not commonplace uh, easy yet. to jump in with like yeah, yeah. vr is basically um, in the stage okay so like video games in general went through phases where it started out really taboo and then more mm-hmm. and then it slowly turned into uh you know everyone does it so vr is in the taboo phase still and eventually it's going to keep growing getting better and better and then eventually everyone will be using uh vr headsets i think so yeah yeah I was just gonna also, take time. if you if you look back to like multiplayer games, and this is a whole different discussion, but uh, real quick, if you like look back to multiplayer games, for example, like there's reasons why some of them were great because you could play them on crappy connections, like like uh, not Doom, Gmod. <laughs> it's it's the Doom, but it's like a shooter, and you shoot at each other, and you frag people. Unreal so Tournament. Doom. Unreal Tournament. There you go. It's not Doom at all, but you know what I mean. Uh, Unreal Tournament and those games were like, oh, that's great. But like multiplayer wasn't a huge thing. So you couldn't have things like MMOs for a while. But then once you could, like G- multiplayer is everywhere now. Mm-hmm. It used to be that like, wow, it's multiplayer only. And now it's like, okay, yeah, I guess that's reasonable. And like, <laughs> just like what is standard changes over time, even if it's good or bad, but it changes. And I think VR is definitely one of those changes that's yeah. eventually going to happen. I can't wait for um, us to live inside of that one movie that was pretty bad. <laughs> which one <laughs> very descriptive ready player one ready player one okay ready player one it was, oh yeah i was assuming people would connect the dots with yeah uh, because I, I was thinking movies, like so. i was thinking like ready player oh, okay. one or jumanji <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> actually jumanji one was like really or not one but the, the, uh, first, the one. first jumanji with the rock was actually really good oh okay. i liked it yeah unironically gonna see the second one um does that mean you're going to cool. the Game Awards 2019 to check? No, because that means I'd have to sit near other people for like twice as long as usual, and that's not happening. <laughs> Fair, I guess. Uh, I guess it's safe to assume that we're all like going to be checking out the Game Awards come Thursday, December the 12th. Yep. Oh, I mean, no. I might be I'll, co-streaming I'll read the it with footnotes uh, somewhere else. Apparently, it but, says you can. Apparently, it says you can on YouTube. You can live stream in 4K with co-streaming. I don't necessarily think YouTube has a co-streaming oh. feature, so I don't know. If, Ooh, what that well, means. they just announced a thing where you can like link people and titles and oh yeah, you can like I wonder add if that them. counts for yeah. I wonder if that counts for uh, streams Maybe. as well. But that's interesting because right. co-stream is until now been more of a Twitch thing. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm literally not going to watch it just because I'll forget and <clears throat> I don't really care to watch it sure. moment by moment. I'll well, read the. I don't really care about later. the awards. I just care about the announcements because there's going to be that's good true. announcements. It's, yeah. What what announcements are there going to be? Do, it's do supposed to be over ten brand new ones. That's yeah. actually Resident a lot. Evil. For, like, for like whole new games? Yeah. Apparently, for yeah. New games. And RE3 okay. Ari well, is, is not one of them, apparently. Hmm. So it'll be nine Did games. someone say something about Smash? Yeah. Maybe. I, I, hope, heard. I hope so. It's like 99%. <laughs> I, uh, fairly certain it's going to be a Smash character at some point. Okay. Then I'll go from reading the footnotes to uh, keeping track of the live Reddit thread as they post links. Yeah, there right. <laughs> Whatever works no, for you. No, it, it'll be interesting. I'm probably yeah. I'm, well. I'm gonna stream it. I just don't know the YouTube or Twitch yet, but yeah, yeah. Apparently, Green Day's performing and sharing a special announcement. What? What? Oh, are shit. they doing a reunion Green tour, Day? even though they never broke up? <laughs> uh, no, they they are doing a tour next year. They're I think they're releasing another album next oh, okay. year too. They're doing actually a huge tour. Like it's I think it's Green Day, uh, Follow Boy. It's like a, like they have like big names. I think it's Green Day, Follow Boy, and Weezer, like all on the same ticket. Hmm. Wow. Um, what was the third one? Weezer. Uh, 
Weezer. Oh, I mean, you said Fall Out Boy, and I'm interested. Because <laughs> I did the Spotify rap yeah. thing, and Made Fall Out Boy was my artist of the decade. Arms race. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad we all grew up with that. But yeah, so like the Game Awards are pretty cool. Uh, mm-hmm. This should be it's interesting. Neat. <laughs> Featuring Green Day, apparently. I can't wait to hear how many times Control won and, and Fallen Boy. Least time. God, I, I hope. I honestly hope they win every award. Right. <laughs> it's just like okay. Like, well, actually, actually, wait. Control is listed eight times. I just realized that. Eight yeah. Times? Um. Dread, Death Stranding is nine oh, well, times. Oh. Good wow. lord. <laughs> how many times is Smash up there? Rigged. I think two. Three times. <laughs> two. <laughs> oh, okay. Is there yeah, really Smash only is three listed times? for family? Fighting and game of the year. I just, it, I mean, I I, the only award I care about at all is game of the year, and I would like it to be Smash, but it's probably going to be Death Stranding or Sekiro. Or Control. Or Control. <laughs> or, or, Resident Evil else, or, yeah, or, or Resident Evil, Evil 2. Or Resident Evil 2. Honestly, Resident Evil Honestly, 2 would I feel be such like a with meme. Some of these... It's not even a new game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what if they accidentally use footage from like a modded Resident Evil 2? You're like, oh, well, dude, we didn't know I didn't play it. Just one of the one of like the goose mod for for Mr. X. Yeah. So, uh, any closing words? I'm excited. I want I I want to see what what happens come Thursday. I hope they show Nintendo. Yeah, me the, too. In the audience, yes, he is gonna be there, and he's gonna be square. Ha. Got him. Got him. Thanks for watching, everybody. We hope to see you next time on another podcast where we will be talking about other things. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be talking about, but uh, be sure to subscribe and, and and other things and do all the things, those, guys. Those, do them all. Yeah, <laughs> do them. <laughs> Just do them. Okay. We've done enough of these that you know how it works. You know how it works. Right? Yeah, do them all. Right. Do it. <laughs> do, okay. Do bye. it now. <laughs>